happy all-star game. <laughs> this is my team. The Hellbenders. Not at all corny sounding. Anyways, uh, Kevin Lohr and Renato Gomez think we should do Take Me Out to the Ball Game. I think that's a great idea. Now, this is my own arrangement I've, I've done with some embellishments of the regular chords, so if that's too much for you, just do the regular chords. But, uh, you know, here, here's some ideas. Of course, this is an age-old song, and it's been done many ways by many people, but this would be a great way to sing it and also make it just a little bit more interesting on the guitar as you're singing it. First, C. Give it a strum, and then you're going to pluck the B string, and then with your middle finger, move it to G2, open, D2, so... To G, and then pluck the D string, and it gets you the melody, right? Same thing again. This is where things get interesting. We're going to play an A major chord, but use, instead of the fingers we usually use, uh, switch your middle and your pointer finger, and now you can go... Right? And if you just emphasize that G string for that part of the melody, and now grab your D string second fret, two, three, open G, and then we're going to switch to D minor, but do it the way Eddie does whenever he's going to play a C or an F walking down when he plays D minor. So pointer finger uh, E1, pinky finger B3, and middle finger G2, and then you can go strum it, D3, open. Cracker Jacks, right? Cracker Jacks. Sorry, I sound nothing like Harry Carey. <laughs> and then, gosh, I forget. Uh, let's go back to the beginning. C. Oh, you can do a little G sharp walking up to your A. Eddie D minor. D string, 3rd fret, open, and now it's a D7, a major chord, and you can B string, open back to 1 for I don't care if I... And then a G, but I'm only going to bother to play this much of G, so leave the baby E string out of it, and we're going to strum to the B string, and then B open, G2, G open, D2, D open, so, at which point will we be, we'll be back to C. C, and we have a cool chromatic walk here on the A string, 3, 2, 1, into A major, or A7, doesn't matter, so, so it's root. Back to C. This is awesome. Play an F. For it's... And then the chord's supposed to be F sharp diminished 7, but that in this, I mean, on the guitar, it's a great thing to do on the piano or if, or if you have like a horn section at your disposal. But in this context and on the guitar, it just, it sounds, and it's not any fun to do anyway. So here's what I've come up with. F. And then this is a great shape, two, three, four, five. And what this is, is kind of half of a diminished seven chord. It's our F sharp root, the flat fifth, which is diminished chords are made up of roots, flat fifths, and flat thirds. So relative or regular minor or major chord, anyways. So a root, a flat fifth, another root. There's our octave shape, right? And here's another octave shape. <laughs> the finger independence is just stellar this evening. So two flat fifths and two octaves. A double octave flat fifth almost diminished chord. Four, it's one, two, and then we're gonna go. I completely forget. Three strikes, you're out. Do the C thing. But after that G2, you're going to switch to an A7. Try to use fingers 1 and 2 here, because now we want to get... So your A7, and then the melody note is on the D string 4th fret with my pinky finger. Back to the G string open. For it's 1, 2... 
D7 or D, G7 or G, back to C. So I'm going to cut and uh, see if I can do the whole thing for you. Right, I'm not going to go for perfect here, it might be a little choppy, that's okay, you'll get the idea. Awesome! Thanks for that request, guys. That was really fun. That wasn't really easy week, maybe, but if you did just the chords, it'd be easy week, right? Right? C. Here's the easy week for G. No embellishments. You could add whichever ones you like, you know? Or an A. Or A7. D minor. D. Or D7. G or G7. Sevens are replaceable with regulars. I wouldn't. I mean, I'd keep that in there. That's too fun. Anyways, <laughs> thanks guys for being here. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you enjoy the All-Star Game, or if you're not enjoying the All-Star Game, enjoy whatever it is you're enjoying. Don't not enjoy what you're enjoying. Don't forget, yeah. See you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.